guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have planned a chatty get ready with me just like the good old days. I used to make these videos all the time and when I got a ton of new clean beauty products in the mail, I thought, why not make a little get ready with me? I asked you guys here some questions over on Instagram, so we'll have some topics to chat about, and I'll also be reviewing all of these products throughout the video as well. This video is also sponsored by Squarespace. Stay tuned to the end of this video to hear more about them and get a discount code. Putting out my hair really quick, this clip is from Chunks. I get so many questions about it, and now I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can obviously see more of my face. The first question I'm going to answer is face sunscreen recommendations because I'm about to put on my favorite one. I have tried quite a few and I'm really not that picky. I have a handful in my drawer and I will use them all interchangeably, but if I'm going to wear makeup, I highly recommend the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. It's clear, it doesn't flash back. And I also recommend this to all of my friends that have darker skin tones than me because you won't get a white cast from this because it is completely clear, which you can see on me now. And I am putting on a pretty heavy duty amount. Even just being in your car or being near a window in your house exposes you to sunlight. So I'm pretty much in the habit of wearing it every day. I'll link below some other ones that I like that are less expensive, but this is my go-to. First makeup product I'm applying is the Well People Expressionist Brow Gel. They're a clean beauty brand and I just, I really like their products. How did I get brow gel on my arm already? Are there any fashion trends going on right now that you're not a fan of. Yes, um, there are always fashion trends that aren't gonna be for you or for me. Um, currently, I would have to say that I just, I don't really get the clay ring obsession, like everyone wearing these like colorful chunky rings. In general, 2000s fashion just feels a bit too soon for me. Like I just, I remember watching all of that on like Disney Channel and MTV and it just, I don't, I don't see myself wearing low rise jeans and rhinestones um, anytime soon. Without a doubt, the 2000s were iconic and I think they make for like really good Halloween costumes. I was like a trashy cowgirl one year with like a really short denim mini skirt and a juicy tank top. But for everyday life, I am just a 90s fashion girl at heart. Um, it's still still doing it for me. I know some people have moved on. What is your favorite ice cream? I'm new here. Hugs from Chili. Hugs right back to you. Um, my favorite vegan ice cream brand I think has to be Nautamu. I used to be a So Delicious gal and then when I got my wisdom teeth out I bought like every type of ice cream and I can say now that Nautamu cookies and cream is where it's at. That is my favorite. How do you allow your style to evolve? Home decor, fashion, etc. That is such an interesting question. It's definitely not something I intentionally think about, like how to change my style. I haven't had like a huge drastic change in style. It's been very slow. Um, if you've like looked through my Instagram over the years or been following me for a long time, style just naturally evolves and I've always been one to just buy what I gravitate towards, follow the trends that I really like that inspire me and not really put too much thought into it. Years ago, I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable trying out like pink nail polish. And now I've learned that like, I really like pink nail polish and that doesn't affect like, I can still wear like leather and all black and like still, you know, have these different aspects of my style and my personality. As I've gotten older, I've cared a little bit less about having a set style. For my skin today, I am going to be trying out the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 with skincare ingredients like niacinamide, squalane, and hyaluronic acid. I'm so excited about this product. Um, I've just heard the best things about it. I do not know really the best way to apply this because it has kind of a dropper. It reminds me of the Glossier skin tint, but definitely much more tinted. Here goes nothing. That is definitely way too much product. I'm just, just gonna go for it. Why does this have so much more coverage than I expected? If I put this much product on of most skin tints, you would pretty much still see my skin. Um, I'm gonna use a beauty blender to try and blend this out. 
Now that that is blended in, I feel like the color match is actually pretty good and the finish looks really natural. Future tattoo plans. I actually have a tattoo scheduled for this Wednesday, so stay tuned for that showing up on my skin. Um, it's gonna be my first tattoo and I've had it booked for a couple months now. I've wanted a tattoo for years and this year really pushed me to make it happen because everything just feels very short and I want to do what I want in this life and that includes putting some art on my body. So I'm really excited and I'll definitely talk about it once I get it done, but that is an update. Before I do my concealer today, I actually think I'm going to do some eyeshadow because I just felt like doing something a little bit fun and I also received the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection and the packaging is just so cute. This is the What A Hoot palette and it has my favorite warm toned kind of orangey shades in there. So I am probably gonna put this lightish orange in the crease and this copper all over the lid. Do you ever struggle with the feeling of always needing more? To buy more, have more? I feel like this might be something influencers like yourself might also feel. Definitely. Um, I That's partially why for the month of February, I really wanted to do a no buy. So I purchased nothing, anything unnecessary aside from like food and dog food for a month. And I feel like it really helped me kick that habit because it's definitely a habit wanting to purchase things all the time. And it's something that I use as a coping mechanism. I definitely would suggest trying a no buy if you feel like you're in a cycle where you just have to buy things. And then once you get them, you need more because I definitely felt that. And since the month ended, I feel a lot more intentional and a lot more aware of my thought patterns of seeing something and wanting to buy it immediately and forcing myself to wait at least a week to see if this is something I truly want and it's not just because I saw that someone else had it and it looked good on them. The purchases that you wait for and that you truly want or that you worked for always feel so much better than the things you bought on a whim and like don't really need. Colourpop seriously kills it with their eyeshadow texture for the price. Like these are such high quality shadows. Something about using your ring finger to apply eyeshadow is like just so much better than using a brush. The color in the pan looks so much more bronze than it does on my eyes. On my eyes, it just looks straight up orange, but you guys know how I feel about an orange eyeshadow look. I love them. Favorite sustainable swimwear. You swim. I tried out one of their suits last summer. I don't even know if it ended up seeing the beach. Um, but they sent it to me and I loved the fit of it. I think it is so flattering. It made me feel so cute. And um, I also tried one from Snorkel Bear and I really liked that one as well. But again, they did not make it to the beach whatsoever. I also just mixed together some Ilia concealer and Kosas concealer on my hand. And I'll put in the description box what the shade names are because I'm not quite sure. But I just mixed that together and I'm gonna put that under my very tired eyes. So I wanted to answer this question because I feel like it's kind of a gray area. Why is it important to you to use clean beauty products? It's more important for me to use products that are cruelty free and vegan certified than it is that something is labeled clean because what does clean really mean? Clean beauty is defined as products that are mindfully created and produced without any proven or suspected toxic ingredients. Things like parabens and sulfates and silicones are viewed as bad by some companies and completely fine by others. It's not, a lot of it isn't backed by science. So it's kind of a complicated question. If it means that there are fewer ingredients in the products and that they are, you know, carefully sourced ingredients, I do really appreciate that. I almost forgot to set my face. I am going to be using the veil from Hourglass and they are matching beautiful brush. I want to keep that kind of natural shine on my cheeks. So I'm just going to put it on my chin and under my eyes. Is there any new hobby that you would like to try? I would really love to get into ceramics again. It's something that I did in high school actually and all of my cups and mugs 
that are my favorites are handmade. And so I'd really like love to join a studio and start doing that. I'm putting a little bit of that light peach color under my eye now. There is a glitter in this palette called Meteor Shower and I am just gonna put that in the middle of my lid. I feel like I just want to be wearing glitter right now. So we're doing that. Would you ever move out of California? Um, yes, I, I don't see it happening anytime soon because everyone I love is here, but if the people that I love decided to move, then I would move with them. But I don't really have a desire to move somewhere new on my own. Um, that's kind of my sister's thing. She moved uh, to Australia and to Texas and to Seattle now. Um, but I've always been like the homebody. I like to stay close to my family and close to what I know, but maybe that'll change in the future. Honestly, where my sister's living up in Seattle, it is so gorgeous and so lush and green. Maybe I could move up there. I still haven't even visited her yet because of, you know, the panorama, but I would love to. I'm also gonna add a couple glitters just right down underneath. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of bronzer on it. This is the Fenty Beauty bronzer. I love it, and I'm just gonna do a light dusting over the cheekbone, like that. I am going to be using the Well People Highlighter in Universal Glow. How are you feeling about transitioning back into some kind of normalcy? I am both excited about it and very anxious about being around people again um, without masks on. It's crazy that that was at once normal, but now if I'm in a grocery store and someone without a mask comes near me, I'm like, you know, taken aback because that's just what we've all gotten used to. I personally haven't been on a plane since last February, but the thought of going on one again definitely makes me very nervous. So hopefully, you know, as those things become completely normalized in the upcoming years, those little weird fears and, you know, feelings go away. But I know that that is like, has been very common amongst the people that I've talked to. But of course, I'm also completely thrilled to be able to hug my friends, have people over, have dinner parties again. That just like, that's definitely what I have needed for months is that just like friendship. Are you going to get the COVID vaccine? Yes, 100% the second I am eligible, I'm going to be going and getting that baby immediately. Do you think you would go back to work in a company? Um, yes, I totally would. I'd love to go back to working in an office once that is like not an unsafe thing to do. I really miss working on teams in person. I really enjoyed that. So whatever that looks like in the future for me, I'd love to work with people in person again. Um, that's, that's just like a form of creativity and connection that is so special and that I really do miss. My camera battery died and my card was full at the exact same time when I finished this makeup look. But we are back and uh, this is this is the finished look. I must say I am very impressed with the base products. I feel like this Ilia skin tint is going to be one of my new favorites, but I'll have to let you guys know how it wears. If you have any questions about the specific products that I used, they will all be linked in the description box. And I also wanted to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, which is an all-in-one platform for building beautiful websites, web stores, portfolios, online businesses, you name it, you can build it with Squarespace. I have been using Squarespace to host my graphic design portfolio website for years now. I also used it to get a custom domain and I really love the interface and how easy it is to manipulate the website to look the way that you want to. They have thousands of customizable templates to choose from and 24 seven customer support if you do ever need a hand. And overall, it just really simplifies the website 
building experience, which can be very tedious and frustrating. I have taken web design classes and used other website builders in the past and none of them compare to Squarespace. It is just so much easier to use and you can really get from point A to point B a lot easier without any tears. If that sounds of interest to you, if you are looking to build a new website soon or get a custom domain, I highly recommend Squarespace. Be sure to use my discount code. All you have to do is go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem or enter lindsayrem at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That is it for this video. I am now going to go to the grocery store and show off my makeup look. I wish I was kidding, but I, I am not. That is exactly what I'm doing today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what makeup you've been into lately, and I will see you all very soon with some new content. Bye guys. Thank you.